Are you ready? Yeah! I want to know, is everybody ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. Hey now. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Got the full twist with that one. Bobby back from a difference is doing it. And look, I know that it's been a while since I've been back, but I squeezed a little vacation in there and went down and visited my old man in Florida. It was a great way to start the summer off, but I am now back in the saddle and ready with a real banger for June's discard giveaway. Now, most of you who have been around these parts for a while already know that I am like a total Star Wars and Marvel Comics geek. Really, just a total geek in general. But nonetheless, I am like way into the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series that's playing on Disney Plus right now. And like Darth Vader coming back full force in it has brought that Star Wars geek like all the way up to the surface. Now, you've all already seen the picture of the disc in the thumbnail. There is my homage to Anakin and Obi-Wan meeting again on the big screen. I tried to make it look like Darth Vader was like forming behind them in the flames as they dueled it out on Mustafa, which like it kind of worked, right? <laughs> and then I gave the back, like the rim on the back, a spin to match the front. But uh, if you can't tell, I am totally stoked on this one. I want to keep it. But instead, this will be what is up for grabs in June's discard giveaway this month and the subject of the pending tutorial that we're about to kick off. Here's like the only thing that I don't cover in the tutorial that I thought was worth mentioning to all you boys and girls before we hit the go button on it. It's like how I came up with and designed the stencil for this die because this one it just started out as an idea that I had to kind of build and cobble together as I went. It wasn't just like an image that I found on the internet ready to go and stick it in and out comes the stencil from the cutter. For me, most of these ideas start with just scrolling through pictures of like some kind of theme that I'm working on, usually on Pinterest, in hopes that I can stir up some of the real good ideas from the bottom of the pot. This one was actually like a mashup of a bunch of different pictures that I found. It all started with a couple Darth Vader in flames pictures. There's this one first, it's like super intense and intimidating, really detailed. But then, like I found this one, bang, that's like wicked cool watercolor, uh, probably more of Darth Vader of flames than it is Darth Vader in flames. And then, like I came across this image here, this clip art style picture of Anakin and Obi-Wan doing it out. And that's where like the wheels in my crooked dome really started to turn. And listen, I went through tons of <laughs> tons of different Anakin versus Obi-Wan pictures before finding what I thought was the right one. This one here, which looks so dope on its own, right? I so wish I could have pulled off that light explosion where their lightsabers are meeting. But I stripped all the background and everything out first and made it look like that. And then I went and found this Darth Vader image right here of his face, which is perfect, but it was backwards. So I flipped it and then I took those two images together, bang, and then that's where we got this stencil right here. And then from there, you know, you just take it into the Cricut or Silhouette software and press all the buttons, right ones, so it knows where to cut and where not to cut, and you're ready to go. But like, I'm not telling you all this so you can be like, whoa, Old Man Cobbers is doing high tech stuff on his computer. Every single step of the process was super easy and like low level graphic editing design type stuff that I know that you can pull off, especially if high tech Bobby can, <laughs> can do it, okay? So like if you got that crazy Darth Vader in flames idea in your head and you can't find the right picture to help you out, All right, that's enough babbling about it. Let's start this party and roll the tutorial where I'm gonna walk you through every step. Every step you need to take to whip up yourself a total Star Wars geeked out banger of a plastic circle. And then I'll circle back on the other side as always 
to walk you through all the instructions to enter the giveaway, to claim your chance at taking this one home, and then a little bit of what we got coming up here on these TDD airwaves. All right, I will catch you on the flip in about 10. Let's do it. Mm.
What'd you think? Like, don't, wait, don't answer that yet, okay? Here's what I think. You can totally do that. You can totally do that. Like, I know that moving by in super speed and coppers has made a thousand of them, but listen, it, when you break it down into all of its individual steps, like every one of them on that die was super easy. Like you can totally do, here's, you wanna know what the hardest part of this one was? It was free handing those like pencil thin outlines around the lightsabers. And here's the reason why it's cause like I don't have naturally steady hands. I got a shake about me and I like had to really focus to keep those things clean. But like every other step, super easy and you can totally do it. You just gotta break it down and take each one as it comes. Worst case though, like we've got a chance for you to win this one right here, all set and ready to go. Now, somehow the TDD army continues to grow in numbers. <laughs> it's crazy, but what that means is like some of you out there are new to the crew and haven't heard me give this like long-winded spiel on how to enter our giveaway. So I'm gonna bang right through it. Here is how we do it. Three simple steps, that's all it takes to enter for your chance to win this Darth Vader and Fames banger of a plastic circle right here. First, enlist in the TDD Army. What the hell is that? Look, it's just my stupid little way of saying subscribe. I'm trying to be creative, right? So hit that subscribe button down there and join the ranks of nutbags that love doing this kind of crap. We're gonna... <laughs> you can hang out with a bunch of other people that like the same crap as you. Easy, right? Two, cram a comment in down below. It's gotta be on this video, okay? Be in, like, really, that's your entry. Because in about two weeks-ish, when this thing's over, I'm gonna turn on the comment sucker upper, and it's coming for one of your comments. And like, cross your fingers, it sucks you right up in there, okay? Because that means you win. So this is like an important one. Cram a comment in down below. We're almost through this. Three. And this is the one that's like the trade-off, okay? Share this sucker with another haka. <laughs> Listen, we'll keep doing these tutorials and giveaways every damn month. Because I love it, okay? The only thing that I'll ever ask of you guys is to help us spread the good word about T. Diddy. And maybe, like, this is the one to share with, like, a Star Wars fan who's not a hawker yet. And then, like, we can sucker him in. <laughs> with our Star Wars carrot, and we'll be growing the sport at the same time too. Okay, so those three steps. One, two, three, bang, bang, bang. And you are all the way up in it to win it. Now, we run these things typically for about two weeks. It's perfect this time because it's gonna run us right to the last day of the month. Thursday, June 30th, at the stroke of midnight, I'm closing the polls and you are either in or you are out. And then I'll wake up the next morning, July 1st, and I'm gonna like run right to my computer and turn on the comment sucker upper thing and suck a winner right up. <laughs> and then I, I'm gonna come back right here on the YouTube channel that next day and announce the winner right here, the real winner with my real mouth. Do not believe it if someone reaches out to you and says you won one of our giveaways and asks for your information. They're lying, I hate them, they're hackers and stupid imposter people. Don't listen to them, don't believe them, I hate them, they're lying. So the real winner, right here, July 1st, with my real mouth, you will know, <laughs> you will know who it is and then we will have done it again. Bang! With that, all I have left for you kitties is a little bit of what's coming up on these here T Diddy airwaves. Uh, I, I know that I've been promising all of you two new episodes of Other Basement Distires. And listen, I've been... <laughs> I love that thing. I, I'm cutting them, like the two of them, at once right now. And I'm real close to finish on both of them. In fact, like I had to set them aside in order to work on this video so that I could get it done in time to run this. You know, so it could fit into June. But you are going to be seeing fresh disc dies and blood feather dies coming at you as guest instructors here real soon. And like both of them are coming out really awesome. Right behind that is going to be the next edition of our hashtag TDD Army Showcase series. Believe it or not, we're already up to episode five, which will feature another 900 pictures of TDD Army disc dies laid over some really hot beats to help DJ your disc dying sessions. And last, 
our new T Diddy signature series of designs that I've been slowly rolling out and revealing to all of you. It's like almost finished. And you're gonna start to see some of the simpler forms of merch like stickers and pins and stamps and discs and that kind of stuff starting to pop up real soon. So keep your eyes peeled. You know, with that, we've pretty much checked off everything on the ballot. We, <laughs> we covered it all. As always, I hope that you enjoyed the ride on this one and that you are leaving all sorts of stoked up to let out your inner Star Wars geek onto some plastic. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll be back with more of the good stuff real soon. Until that time comes, you better keep doing it. Yeah! Oh. Heartbreaker! Oh, no.